Rise and shine, sunshine. Greg? Yes, don't you remember? We have to hit the stores for the really early bird Christmas specials. But Greg, it's too early. Lori, we have a very long drive to the new and fabulous Viddlers. Come on, come on, come on. Get up, get up, get up. Chestnuts roasting over an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. I can't believe all these people getting out here in this freezing cold weather just to save a few dollars. And I can't believe you, Pastor. I had no idea you were so into all this. What do you say that? I don't know. I mean, well, haven't you noticed you're the only man out here? Happy holidays. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey. Here's your coffee. Thanks Hello? for the free coffee. She's here. Mm -hmm. What do you mean she's here? John told Pastor there's no way you would get up this early in the morning to go shopping with us. So John had to buy coffee. So that's why I'm here? No, 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 no. You see, these things, they can get really ugly. So I have a team system. And you, my friend, you're part of that team. Oh, brother. Mm -hmm. Come on, in the back, in the back. Over there by the cheese nips, go! Go, go, go! What you doing, Frank? Oh, hi, Julie. Hi, Calvin. I'm putting up the Christmas lights. Uh, it looked like a big mess to me, Frank. Yeah, Calvin, it's a mess. <laughs> hmm. Need some help? Yeah, we can untangle these lights oh, for you. No, no, be careful. We don't want to break any. Frank! Yes, what is it? The star you put up in front of the church fell over. Oh, goodness. Uh, can you keep your eye on these two? What are you guys doing? We're, uh... We're putting up these Christmas lights. Want to help? Lori? Lori? I'm under here. Oh, there you are. You rock today. You are the best shopping warrior I've ever worked with. I have to admit, it's much more fun than I thought it would be. That is. Did you see the look on that guy's face when he went for the Muddy Moose slippers and you flew across the room and snatched it from the Muddy Moose's mouth? That was pretty cool. Yeah, that guy went down. <laughs> yeah, but next time you don't have to be so nice to him. Greg, they were for his grandfather. But I wanted them. Attention, Fiddler shoppers. The first ten people at the Retro and Nostalgic will receive a free... Let's take it easy, and nobody will get hurt. Look, just put the frying pan down, ma'am. John, John, I, I wouldn't do that, man. This lady means business. Yeah, this is your friend, John. No! Don't worry about me. It's too late for me. No. Go on without me. No, I'm not gonna leave you behind. It's too late for me, man. You've gotta get to those underwear. But go, but... go get those underwear. Go! And remember, I'm a large! Oh.
awesome. It does have a nice ambience. Yes, we did capture the essence of the green in the trees. Like, not to mention the bulbs bounce nicely off the star when it's lit. Here's oh. the clothes for the orphans, Frank. Oh. Okay, kids, let's get this stuff packaged up. This is just socks and stuff. Why don't we give them toys? These children are very poor. They need clothes and food. But they like toys, don't they? Oh, of course they do. Some of these kids could die. Couldn't they, Frank? I'm ashamed to say it, but yes. Well, I guess it's up to us to save them. Yes, Calvin, it's up to us. Okay, guys, I have to get back and work on my sermon. Oh, that is right. This is your first Christmas sermon. Yep, first Christmas sermon in front of the entire church, filled with people. Good stuff, good stuff. He looked nervous. It's a shame. Well, I'm gonna go meet the worship team for rehearsal. Lori, how are you and Flo coming along with the Christmas skit? Fine. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we're gonna rehearse again right after we drop this stuff off in my office. No, no, no. I'm going to take a nap. Lori. Flo, we're not even supposed to be here yet. Just give me an hour, one hour. Fine. Guess I'll rehearse by myself. There once was a snowman who stood outside the door. He wished he could come inside and run about the floor. He wished he could warm himself by the fire so red. He wished that he could climb up in that big white bed. So he called to the north wind, come help me, please pray. I'm standing here frozen, been here all day. So the north wind came along and blew open the door. Now there's nothing left but a puddle on the floor. Uh, John, I, I was just to... Thank you, Flo. I needed that. John? John! Don't show Greg! Hey, Greg, look at this! John! Oh, it's like cobble all over again. Excuse me, Pastor Greg. Yes, Miss Phyllis. There's a young lady here to see you. Charlie. She says it's important. Shall I make an appointment? No, I'll see her now. Uh, but... But what? I know you're new at this, but you just can't see people without an appointment. I can't? Why? Because if you do that, you won't get any work done. I mean, people always need something. I know. It's the job. You're the pastor. You're a bit young, aren't you? How the heck can you help me? Military. Yes, sir. I mean, I was. Law enforcement. Yes, sir. How? You got that look. Iraq or Afghanistan? Yes, ma'am. What's the problem, ma'am? A few years back, I was involved in a shooting. It was a clean shoot. I wasn't accused of any wrongdoing, but I keep replaying it in my head. It won't leave me. All the time I was deployed, all the stuff I saw, it messed with me, but this, this is different. 
can't sleep, sir. I can't do... My husband said he'd help, and I saw a shrink, but that didn't stop anything. The person you... He's fine. He's on parole. Have you talked to a doctor about this? I'm not taking pills anymore. That's not my thing, sir. Charlie, it won't leave you. What? Ma'am, as long as you have compassion for people, this thing inside of you, it won't leave you. And you don't want it to. No. But I have a way of welcoming it. What? Prayer? You think just praying is going to make it better? <laughs> nope. We are also going to take some action. People said you were kind of out there. I like that. Hey, 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 hey! No running in the church. Uh, thanks, Pastor. Oh my gosh. And no playing football in the church. Flo, you are a full-grown man. You know better. But that was, that was. Oh, it's just like Ken Hall all over again. I'm gonna call his mama. Greg, I'm gonna call your mama. That's what I'm gonna do. Hi, Hi community, community church. church. I, I got, got it. it. You, you get, get it. it. Stop that! Fine! Like Budapest all over again. I'm sorry? Nothing. We're, We're rehearsing, rehearsing our skit. skit. No, no, no. I'm working on my sermon. No, Your sermon? You have an office yeah. to work on. No, you are all wrong. We're decorating. De decorating? Yes, decorating. It's the only chance I got. Decorating? I don't think so, much. How do you work on this? We have to fight. We don't have to fight. Okay, we can settle this. You're all just gonna have to come back later because we are rehearsing our Christmas songs. Adults, they can be so childish. Yeah, what can you do? I'm so bored. Church, it's supposed to be boring. Christmas songs. Christmas. Are you serious yes. right now? Yes. I mean, these are the many I went into with you. I have a choir I've been working with the choir for the last 30 days. I need the piano. It's finally time to use the... Okay, if you guys are here to rehearse something, you are just gonna have to wait. I don't think that's why they're here, John. Wait a minute, I know you guys. You're the village Christmas elves, right? Oh yeah, I saw you this morning. That was so sweet how you did that little dance through the store, giving out candy. Thank you. <laughs> what can we help you guys with? Oh yeah, we're looking for um, Pastor Greg. I'm Greg. Congratulations, you have won the free Bittler shopping spree. And what exactly does this mean? It's when the pastor gets three full minutes to run around the store to get anything he wants, and he gets to keep it. You mean he doesn't have to pay for it? That's right, I filled out the entry form this morning. 100% free. Yes, 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 Merry Christmas, Merry <laughs> Christmas, Merry Christmas. When does he get to do this? Christmas Eve night. I'm sorry? 10 o'clock, Christmas Eve night. That's the Christmas service. Don't you ever get to talk? That's okay, you can make it. Yeah, we can go with you. This I'd love to see. Really, guys? Sure, yeah. we just need somebody here by eight. I'll do it. Really? Yeah. I see a new tennis racket in your future. I don't even play tennis. I know. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Okay, stop. Um, um, I don't, that was horrible. Yes, sir, it was. Yes, um, so you were flat. Just get with it, okay? Uh, what from the top? Silent night, holy night. night. Cut, cut. Okay. Holy moly, that was not good. 
but John, it's- I, I, It's what? It's Silent Night, okay? We are gonna rock this place. Now get it together, okay? From the top. Silent Night. night. Oh, oh, it hurts my ears. John, what? Who is that? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Go for John. I have to take this. Take 10. Hey, you're still here. Having some trouble? Can I tell you a secret? Sure, I love secrets. I have no idea what I'm doing. About? This sermon for Christmas. I want something different, Lori. I want something that will really grab the people's attention. Not just the same boring snooze fest they hear every single year. I want something, something that will help people get past all of the crud from our politicians, jobs, and people being meaners to each other. Meaners? I don't think that's a word, Craig. Well, it should be. We could find hope not just in jobs and money or in stuff, but in each other and in God. And, and people stop being so evil and judgmental to one another. You can't tell me you wouldn't want a meaner free world, even if it was just for one single day. That's hope if you ask me. And Lori, hope can be a great Christmas gift. Greg, that was great what you just said. It was? Huh. It was, wasn't it? What'd I say? Something about hope, not judging each other, and meaners. Hey, are we still watching a movie on demand tonight? Oh yeah, how about the Polar Express? That's a kid's movie. Tom Hanks is every single character. Okay, okay, okay. How about The Christmas Carol with Jim Carrey as every single character? Fine. Can we please have something besides pizza tonight? Yeah, whatever you guys want. Hey, hey! Hey, what do you want to eat for dinner tonight? Greg wants to watch a cartoon. John and I are working. And Christmas cartoons are awesome. So it's just us. Oh yeah, sure, whatever you want, Lori. No, that can't happen. What? Just the two of you having dinner. Why not? It's like a date. It is? Is it? You just said it was. No, I didn't. Wait, I mean, can we? Even if it's a date, what's the big deal? It is a big deal. And you must ask the board. I am not gonna ask the board if I can date. It's just like Tora Bora all over again. Tora Bora? What's that? It's a city in Afghanistan. There goes a Tora Bora again. Are you ever going to let that go? No! We got out alive, didn't we? Yeah! But I got my eyebrows singed off! You must ask the board! Ask the board what? Greg and Lori want to go on a date. It's, it's not, not a, a date. date! Absolutely not! I can't? Watch me. I'm a full-grown man. And I am a full-grown woman. <laughs> no, you're not, and no, you can't. I can do whatever I want. I heard that. So the movie and dinner is off? Yeah. Good move. Thank you. So, you come here often? Well, you need me to leave, Pastor? No, 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 stay. I mean, do you want to come in for some coffee? <sighs> nah. No. I'm good right here. I see you know who I am. Oh, yeah, you're the, uh, you're the pastor that everyone says is a little strange. So I'm told. What's your name, sir? Having difficulty with your sermon, Pastor? Check. And if you change your mind and want to come on inside, lunch is on me. Hope doesn't disappoint. What did you say? Greg! Telephone. That's one strange guy. So much anger for a dancer. My pirouette stinks. Well, let's see it. You 
see? Chloe, I thought you looked awesome. The landing was a bit hard. Physically, you're doing amazing. Now mentally, you have to make a choice to come down from the turn. Don't let gravity make the choice for you. You see, dancing, it's just a word. It's a title given. It's how you do it that defines it. Um, okay, you dance? No, Miss Chloe. No, I don't. He is so weird, yet so cool. Yeah. I'm bored. Let's do something else. Hey, you okay? Yes, sir. And tonight, it's going to be a snowy night on the valley floor. After a few great days of sunshine, temperatures have really dipped. The snow clouds are rolling in. We're expecting 7 to 9 inches to blanket our area, giving us a white Christmas. And with that amount of snow, you know what's possible. Some power outages, so be prepared. So remember, when the rooster crows, you'll have three minutes to get anything you want in the entire store. Wait, what rooster? I am telling you, I have never seen anybody shop that fast before in my life. It was so much fun, John. That was a great idea, getting stuff for the orphans. Not everything. I got a few things for you guys. We are running behind. Don't worry, we'll make it. Not to worry, not to worry. We'll just uh, call from the security box. Now can we worry? Oh, great. Oh, it's okay. I'm a good three weeks away. <sighs> Okay. 
It's okay. Everything will be fine. How do you know? Are you a doctor? No, I'm not. Okay, listen. Can you see my baby? Huh? huh? Look! Can you see the baby's head? Pastor, I... Are you a pastor? Yes, I am. This is Lori, John, that's Frank, and I'm Greg. Oh, God! Oh, God. Oh. What's your name? Becca, my name is Becca. Hey, Greg, what are you doing? I'm doing what she says! Have you ever done anything like this? No, Frank, I have not. Oh, God. Hey, okay, good idea. Hey, man, a little help, please. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Pastor Greg asked me to meet him here. You must be Charlie. Greg's not here yet, but uh, he has someone he wants you to meet with. Charlie, this is Jake. I know who this is. I got a call from Pastor, and he told me about you. I, um, well, I was not in a good place at that time. Stick around. Sure. I thought we didn't have a signal. We didn't. Ooh. Oh, thank you, God. Oh. Huh? Hello? Help! John? John, is that you? Help! We are stuck in an elevator! Oh, you are my man! Me duele mucho! I don't understand what she's saying. We, we don't understand <gasps> you! What the? Oh Pastor Flo, we need to start the service. Becca, Becca, breathe with me. Miss Becca! <laughs> Miss Becca! <laughs> this baby is coming and you need to focus. Okay, okay. We can do this. Yes, we got this. Okay, if the baby's head is visible, place your hand on the head to support it and to keep it from popping out. How do you know all this? I'm a nurse. Well, almost, but... But, but what? But I got an A in birthing! Oh. Well, that's nice. <laughs> oh my God! Oh Pastor my Flo, we need to start the service. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, go ahead and start. Without Greg? Don't worry, it'll be fine. Becca, we are here <sighs> with you. God, I know you're here, man. Is he? Is he really? Yes, Miss Becca. He is. I can see that.
Becca, everything looks okay, but I don't think the baby's ready to come out yet. Here, hand me that scarf so I can wipe her forehead. <sighs> Merry Christmas. Is God really here? Yes, Miss Becca. God really is here. The proof is all around us. Oh, yeah? Look at me. I thought me and my husband were doing great. He's gone, and well... I'm here. That's right. You're here, right where you're supposed to be. Inside of you, ready to come into your life in full force, is God's perfect love, your baby. And do you know what? What? He wants this life back. My baby? Yes, and he wants you. He wants all of us. He wants you to know his love. Oh, God! Back over here. <sighs> I know you're scared, but you should also be very excited. Excited? Really? Now I know why people say you're kind of weird. Honestly, did you all have a meeting or something? I just don't know what there is to be excited about. I am bringing a child into this world, and it is so messed up. I get that. When I returned home from the military, the only thing I could see was darkness. Sometimes I still do. your pastor yes ma'am I am isn't that wild but I'm still a guy that gets messed up scared I feel pain but so does God and he wants to take that pain take it why me I'm just just what you're just one of his people and you are awesome Miss Becca it took me forever to realize that so now I give it to him well most of the time at least you can too Miss Becca I started reading stories of people just like you and me. People with needs, and he met all of those needs. I didn't believe it either until I started to see it everywhere. See what? Hope. Hope doesn't disappoint. <sighs> he was right. Greg. Hope does not disappoint, for you created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. This is you, Becca. This is all of us. This is God's child for you. At least that's what I believe. You don't have to believe me. You don't have to trust in God. You don't even have to believe in him. That is your choice. I am the last person to judge you or anyone. Either way, I am glad I am here with you. Here with all of you, Merry Christmas. Amen! Preach it, bro. Oh. After my husband found out that I was pregnant and left, I went to a clinic. I thought the smartest thing to do was to just get rid of it. They put me in a room and while I was waiting for the doctors, I heard this voice say, get up and leave. And I looked to see who it was, but there was nobody there. So I waited and the voice said it again. Get up and leave. I looked in the hallway and there was nobody there, but I heard it again, so I left. You just left? Yeah. Maybe I'm crazy, but sometimes I think it was God. Yes, ma'am. I believe it might have been.
But I really thought he was going to blow it. <laughs> we all did. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, thank you. She's beautiful. What's her name? I hadn't decided yet, but I think, I think she's Hope. <sighs> Pastor. Me and, uh, Hope, we'll see you again. Hello? Come on, it's the end of the year. I can't believe how low the prices are at the blowout sale at the mall. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, o'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha ha, bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> Hi folks, we would like to thank you for watching Hope for Christmas. Tonight we hit on some very serious topics. We certainly did. Police shooting, childbirth, and of course religion. But right now we want to talk about some very serious and very disturbing topics in our community, which is... Frying pants in the face comedy. Mm -hmm. This is not that funny. As actors, we need to put an end to this horrible act on actors. Mm -hmm. If you would like to support our cause and vanquish the use of comedy directors and writers using frying pan to the face for comedic tactics, please visit our website. www.fryingpantothefaceisnotfunny.com Please join us and sign our petition to end this abuse on innocent actors. Thank you, and Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Hi. <laughs> 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 <laughs>